As a back to school special, DeepCool is offering over 10% off their latest cases and coolers, including my personal favorite RGB edition Captain 240 EX AIO. Check out the link in the video description for more details. You asked for a minute science video that lasts exactly one minute, so here's how a computer works. The heart of any computer is also its brain, and that's the central processing unit. It executes stored programs and commands using billions of transistors to sort through trillions of lines of binary code. And since binary involves two states, open and closed, it's easy for transistors to discern between the two with a single threshold voltage. Random access memory is also a vital component of any PC. It allows for temporary and speedy storage and access to some data. The process is quicker than any hard disk or solid state drive because it's immediately at the CPU's disposal. The graphics processing unit, either integrated or discrete, is in charge of transcribing the data sent from the CPU into on-screen dynamic pictures. Individual pixels must be assessed and shaded simultaneously, which is why graphics processors incorporate thousands of cores for parallel processing. Most dedicated cards have their own RAM and power delivery systems, much like modern motherboards. Speaking of which, the motherboard acts as the unifier, the highway between the CPU, RAM, and discrete graphics processor. Information fed from RAM and storage devices is executed by the CPU and translated by the graphics card into a physical image. Power is distributed to the CPU, mainboard, peripherals, and graphics card from a power supply with dedicated rails for unique voltage requirements, usually 12 volts for anything major, and 5 volts for peripherals. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.